Otto Loewi Otto Loewi was born on June 3, 1873 in Frankfurt am Main, Germany, the son of Jacob Loewi, a merchant, and Anna Wilstatter. After having attended the humanistic gymnasium in his native town, he entered in 1891 the Universities of Munich and Strasbourg as a medical student. Apart from his attendance at the inspiring anatomy courses of Gustav Schwalbe, however, he seldom went to the medical lectures, being more inclined towards those held at the philosophical faculty. Only in the summer of 1893 did he seriously prepare for his first medical examination, which he just managed to pass. It was not until the autumn of 1894 that his indifference to medicine suddenly gave way to almost enthusiastic interest. In 1896, he took his doctor's degree at Strasbourg University. After his graduation, he followed a course in inorganic analytical chemistry with Martin Freund, his thesis dealing with the subject suggested by the Professor Oswald Schmidberg, the famous father of pharmacology, in Frankfurt and afterwards spent a few months working in the Biochemical Institute of Franz Hofmeister in Strasbourg. During 1897-1898, he was assistant to Carl von Noden, clinician at the city hospital in Frankfurt. Soon, however, after seeing the high mortality in countless cases of far advanced tuberculosis and pneumonia, left without any treatment because of lack of therapy, he decided to drop his intention to become a clinician and instead to carry out research in basic medical science, in particularly pharmacology. In 1898, he succeeded in becoming an assistant of Professor Hans Horstmeier, the renowned pharmacologist at the University of Marburg and der Lahn, from 1904, Professor of Pharmacology in Vienna. In 1905, Loewi became Associate Professor at Mayer's Laboratory, and in 1909, he was appointed to the Chair of Pharmacology in Graz. During his first years in Marburg, Loewi's studies were in the field of metabolism. As a result of his work on the action of fluorhexin, a glucosid-provoking glycosuria, and another one on nuclear metabolism in man, he was appointed as a lecturer in 1900. Two years later, he published his paper on protein synthesis in the animal body, proving that animals are able to rebuild their proteins from the degradation products, the amino acids, an essential discovery with regard to nutrition. That same year, he also published the first part of a series of papers about experimental contributions to the physiology and pharmacology of kidney function. In 1902, Loewi also spent some months in Starling's laboratory in London, where he also worked with W. M. Bailey's Starling's brother-in-law. And it was this laboratory that he first met his lifelong friend, Henry Dale, who was later to share the Nobel Prize with him. After his return to Marburg in 1902, Loewi continued to study the function of the kidney and the mechanism of action of diuretics. On his arrival in Vienna in 1905, he again took up the problems connected with carbohydrate metabolism. He proved thereby that preference for fructose rather than glucose is not only characteristic of pancreatomized dogs, as earlier demonstrated by Minkowski, but also of dogs deprived of their glycogen by other means, for example phosphorus poisoning. He also proved that the heart in contrast to the liver cannot utilize fructose and finally that epinephrine injections into rabbits completely depleted of their liver glycogen by starvation brought the glycogen back to almost normal values in spite of continued starvation. His other investigations in Vienna, done jointly with Alfred Froelich, dealt with the vegetative nervous system, stimulated by the discovery made by Gaskell and Langley of the existence of two divisions of the nervous system and also as a result of his coming into contact with T.R. Eliot in Cambridge, where the latter was conducting his final experiments on the action of epinephrine. His classic paper in the field was published in 1905, the best known result of these studies being the observation that small doses of cocaine potentiate the responses of sympathetically innervated organs to epinephrine and sympathetic nerve stimulation. It was as professor in Graz that Loewi cultivated his gifts as a lecturer. A number of his associates during the period came from the USA. Loewi continued his studies of carbohydrate metabolism, investigating among other things his conditions responsible for epinephrine hyperglycemia. In 1921, Loewi discovered the chemical transmission of nerve impulses, the research of which was greatly developed by him and his co-workers in the years following, culminating ultimately in his demonstration that the parasympathetic substance is acetylcholine and that a substance closely related to adrenaline playing a corresponding role at the sympathetic nerve endings. It was for these researches that he received the Nobel Prize in 1936 jointly with Sir Henry Dale. This and other discoveries in the fields of chemistry, physics and pharmacology have since then led to a complete renewal of the concepts of the sympathetic nervous system. Loewi held honorary degrees from New York University, Yale University and from the Universities of Graz and Frankfurt. He was a recipient of the Physiology Prize of the Royal Academy of Sciences of Bologna, of the Leven Prize of the Academy of Vienna and of the Cameron Prize of the University of Edinburgh in the year 1944. He was an honorary member of the Physiological Society in the London, of the Harvey Society in the New York and of the Societa Italiana di Biologica Sperimentale. 
He was also corresponding member of the Society of Physicians in Vienna, of the Viennese Biological Society and of the Society for the Advancement of Natural Sciences in Marburg and Der Land. In 1954, he was appointed foreign member of the Royal Society. In 1908, he married Goida Goldschmidt, daughter of Dr. Goida Goldschmidt, then professor of chemistry in Prague and later in Vienna. They had three sons, Hans, Victor and Goido, and one daughter, Anna. Otto Loewi died on December 25, 1961.